hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you all so much for tuning in today so in today's video i'll be showing you all how i make this delicious party style egusi soup it has the lump it's super easy to make and uh, we're going to go through the step-by-step -step procedure on how you can make your party style egusi soup if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead click on that red subscribe button and click the like button as well my name is linda and welcome to my channel so for the list of ingredients we're going to be using some tomatoes red bell pepper onion some pepper ginger and some garlic so i'll be using some goat's meat cow leg shaki and cow skin also known as bomo or kanda i'll also be using some stock fish some dry or smoked shrimp i'll be using some oil some bouillon powder curry powder and some salt so for the vegetable that i'll be using i'm going to be using some kale and uh, bitter leaf uh, my bitter leaf that i have there is the dry one you can use the fresh one and you can also use any vegetable of your choice spinach cora green so here i have in a uh, goosey and the blended crayfish so if you're interested in getting your own egusi crayfish or other african food you can go over to my instagram page arolinda food express or you can call or whatsapp me with this number i'm going to leave a link in the description box on how you can um, get yours we have so many um, african food um, items and you have it in different sizes so go ahead and you know reach us if you are interested so now i have all my tomatoes pepper ginger garlic and the onion i'm going to roughly blend this they're not going to be too smooth just roughly blend so moving on i have in here all the meat the bomo, the shaki, everything, I have them in there. So I'm just going to season it with some stock cube or bouillon powder, some salt, chopped ginger, chopped garlic, chopped onion. Then I'm going to be adding in a little bit of water. So now I'm going to leave it to cook until they're nice and tender. So now that it's all soft. So meanwhile, I went in and added in the stock fish just to, you know, get the um, meat stock um, flavor in it. It's already cooked because I already pre-cooked the stock fish. So now I'm going to take it out from the um, from the pot. So here now I already took it out from the pot. You can go ahead and bake your the meat if you you know want it baked or fried. I have my meat stock there as well. So moving on, I will be adding some palm oil into my pot. Then I'm also going to go ahead and add in the olive oil because I'll be using two different oil. I prefer using um, using the two oil for a goosey like this you can choose to use just palm oil it's fine you can choose to use any oil of your choice it's totally works really good so i went in and add the blended tomato mix or blended tomato and pepper so i'm going to stir them and you know let it fry for about 10 minutes on a low heat because you don't want it to get burnt so moving on i have there the egusi and some water so i'm going to be mixing the um, egusi with the water just to you know get um just to form like a a batter you can use your wooden spoon or your spoon for this you don't really have to use your fingers but i find it easier to use my fingers so i'll be mixing this until a batter is formed I don't want it to be too running so this is the texture that I'll be going for 
so it's been 10 minutes now since the tomato has been cooking on a low heat so now i'll go ahead and you know scoop in the igusi butter into the pot of the tomato sauce so you can use a spoon um, you can use your fingers to scoop them in it doesn't really matter okay so see now this is where the lumpiness comes in so right now i didn't make my um the agusi to be watery so i make it a little thick so i'll go ahead and put my stove on a very low heat i'll cover the pot and allow this agusi to fry let the oil really fry the agusi so right now i did that for about three to five minutes and this is what i got so you can see now that the agusi is um is kind of um um, solid is like you know like akara so you're going to use your spatula your wooden spoon or even a potato mash just to you know kind of break down the egg break it down until you get your desired um, texture so if you are looking for the lumpiness you know you know how you can break it down so right now they are fully um, are mashed so it's now looking like a fried and um, scrambled egg it's not egg it's actually a goosey so i went in and added the meat stock so i also add in a little bit of water so i'm just going to stir this up nicely you can see all the lumps you can see so it's not egg like i said you're not frying scrambled egg this is actually a goosey and it's just an easy method on how you can get that lumpy patty um texture on your egg goosey so i went in also and adding the smoked shrimp and some piece of um some stock fish so i'll be adding the curry powder so this chopped onions if you're looking for that a goosey aroma that um, patty aroma it's your onion add as much onion that you can uh, lay your hands on and i recommend you use the purple onions because they have lots of flavor the flavor are very strong so i went also and adding the cow leg because i just want to soak up those um, juices you know when you eat cow leg you have to suck the bone so if you are like me just you know leave your comments in the comment section so i went there and adding the um, cow leg you know because it's not fully cooked so um that's why i added first so right now it's this has been cooking for a while for about 10 minutes more on a low heat so i'll also go ahead now and add in all the remaining uh, uh meat so like i said i didn't Put the meat in the oven so you can choose to bake this or you can fry the meat um, it's totally up to you it's what you prefer doing so but I just want you know to go with this um, style I didn't put them in the oven so I'm just going to use them as it is so I'm just going to stir them up I will be adding my crayfish so like I said if you want your crayfish your igusi peppers you know African ingredients go over to my um, Instagram page at Rolinda Food Collection um, or you can call chat me up I'll leave the link you know everything or the information in the description box so right now it has been cooking on a low heat for another 15 minutes now we want your goosey you know to fully cooked that's when you get the you know desired flavor okay you can see that lumpiness so right now the goosey has been cooking so i'll be adding in the um, bitter leaf add the bitter leaf at this point if you have the fresh one go ahead and use it it's um if you have the dry one go ahead and use it it doesn't really matter the one that you use you still have that bitter you know flavor it had it adds more flavor to it so when i'm done adding the bitter leaf so i'll allow it to cook for some more then i'm going to turn on my stove 
completely because right now it's already cooked so i'll be turning off my stove completely so the reason why i turn off my stove completely if you all know me very well i like my vegetable to be crunchy so that's why i turn the um, stove off completely so that way the heat from the um igusi is going to cook the vegetable so right now i added the my the kale so you can use spinach collard green um, ugu leaf any vegetable of your choice so i'm just going to stir them up nicely so this is the finished product look at that this soup is so so yummy guys go ahead like share subscribe and uh, be part of this family thank you so much for tuning in to my old new and returning subscribers i really appreciate you all if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up i'll see you all in my next video thank you all so much and have a blessed day bye